Okay, this is a really fun watercolor, and in this um, part one, what I'm doing is just drawing it for you. There's a lot of organic shapes involved with this hibiscus, so I really just started with a line that curves from the top left to the bottom right, following um, the stem of the flower, and I think, oh, what's that middle part called? Is it called your pistol, I think? I should really have looked that up before I started. Anyway, and then I just use like really loose, almost circular oval shapes that are organic to get each petal shape close. And then I went back through and I added every tear or angle or line. Again, it's just similar. I'm not trying to make it look perfect. But what was interesting is I've done a couple of these videos and I draw really light on the watercolor paper because you don't want to see those pencil marks through your watercolor but it was hard to see on the video. So this time I've used um, a mechanical pencil that has a 0.7, darker than I liked. And so erasing was a little difficult and I could still see some of the lines. So you're welcome, because it drove me crazy. I love using the kneaded eraser. Sometimes I use the eraser on my pencil to get tiny areas correct, but that kneaded eraser is really great on watercolor paper. It doesn't eat it up, chew it up. So really what I'm doing now, after I get that pistol part drawn, I'm going to go back through and, and readjust the sizes. So each petal, you need to try and get those sizes correct. And what I've done is that top right one, I needed to make it bigger in some parts. And then the bottom right, it sticks out farther than the top. And so I really like to look at shapes as well as the contours and the negative space when I'm drawing to help proportion. And, and sometimes if I don't take a minute to step back and um, compare one shape to the neighboring shape, then I get behind and my angles are off and my sizes are off, so that's what I did there. Then I loosened up the eraser and I just pressed it into the graphite to get all that loose graphite off of the paper. If I rub it, sometimes it will smear it. And again, that watercolor paper, you do not want a gray smudge of graphite on top of the paper. And then I, this is going to be inked at the end, so I just started inking it before I paint it and then I ink again when I'm done. I like it because it helps guide me um, when I watercolor dark and then I don't lose my edges and my lines. I think of it like a coloring book. You stay within the lines and then you know what colors go where. Okay, good luck getting this drawn.